Hey everybody, it's Mike with Plus 8 Precision. Um, what I'm going to do today is I got to lay out this block of coal roll. Nothing fancy. And I'm going to use uh, my planer gauge. And uh, my flat scriber blade. Pretty cool, huh? Used to use this for laying out plaster models for body lines. That's kind of a four CNC. Okay, so what the situation is, is I'm gonna cut a, a pocket across this, this length of this piece of coal roll. This coal roll is roughly two inches, one inch, 9.95. The pocket that I'm gonna cut is gonna be one inch, 7.75. That's 220 thousandths. Divided by two, that's 110 thousandths on each side. So, since I have a smaller footprint surface plate, uh, I'm going to use my planer gauge instead of getting out the height gauge and uh, uh, doing it that way with a flat scriber. Um, so, th this will work. We'll go through the setup process of this and everything and show you how it's done. Okay, here we got a set of gauge blocks. And like I said, um, each wall thickness on that pocket is going to be 110. So Let's locate the 110 thou gauge block. There we go. Set these off to the side. Basket. Okay. Bring this down. Put our screw in it. Be very careful when working around flat scribers. They take no prisoners. Okay. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get all the way down there. Nope. So, what can we do about that? How about using a one, two, three block? Height doesn't matter because we're going to scribe off of this. We'll put the, the block up here like such. Maybe we'll use two. But we'll be able to set it here. Bobby, what seasoning do we put in the meat? Garlic powder. Uh, That's it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set this on the one, two, three block. Oops. Well, that was sticking.
There we go. And then we'll just set up the one, two, three blocks like such. So it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just for a rough layout. So I can set up an end mill and just go in there and clear most of it out before I start taking the pocket to size. So again, this is just a real quick, real quick use of a planer gauge. You'll find lots more uses. I mean, it's just a square measuring faces, several faces that you can measure off of. Um, they come in handy in tight spaces. You see me using um, sliding parallels a lot. This could be used in a similar manner where you get two parallel, a parallel dim a dimension between two parallel surfaces, um, just like a sliding parallel, only a bit bigger. All right. Again, this is just a quick one. Another Shop Basics tutorial type video. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the, hit the like, hit the dislike, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment, um, share the video, give me some traction on uh, my channel. Um, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.